Our next guest is host, beauty and health expert and author Nancy Red. Just in time for Christmas, Red looks at our traditional idea of Santa Claus, you know, a jolly old fellow with a long beard who is often depicted as white. But Red reimagines Santa Claus in a new book and what he can represent in her children's book, The Real Santa. Nancy, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So let's talk about your own experience with Santa Claus as a child. You've detailed how every Christmas you'd color in your Santas with brown crayons or colored pencils. What was that experience like for you? I mean, a lot of us can relate to it, right? Because it was in the 1980s and 1990s. It was totally before diversity and merchandising was a big thing. So no Christmas was ever complete. We had our markers and it was just part of what we did. And what the surprise was for me was 20 years after my childhood, when I was 30 and I had my first child, my son, and I went shopping, I couldn't believe that things hadn't changed much in two decades. And you wrote in a New York Times op-ed titled In Search for Black Santa that, quote, although 20 years had passed since my childhood, images of Santa remained as homogeneous as ever. Why do you think that that is? Well, it's a very interesting thing because before, less than 100 years ago, Santa was uh, depicted in many different ways. Um, in, in 1931, it says on the Coca-Cola website, Coke uh, actually commissioned this image of this beautiful, jolly uh, white man that we consider Santa Claus. But before that, he was like an elf-like Santa. There was a tall, gaunt man. There was even a scary Santa. So uh, this Santa just picked up speed. And so now what I and a lot of other creators in this Christmas spirit are getting back to is the root of no one's ever seen Santa. In my <laughs> household, Santa is black. Right. Papa Noel, I think, was one of the original uh, iterations of, of Santa Claus. Why do you think that the identity politics of Santa have become so controversial? Well, everything's become controversial, but with controversy comes change, right, Lindsay? Because uh, we have been able to have an opportunity this year. I call it the Black Santa Bonanza. My book <laughs> is one of at least three other picture books that have come out this year that feature non-white Santas. I mean, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups have a brown Santa, a black Santa, a white Santa on the cover. Pottery Barn has diverse Santas, Old Navy has diverse Santas, Disney has diverse Santas. We have arrived in the real Santa, my picture book, I'm really proud as part of this evolution where we can put the power of what Santa Claus looks like where it belongs, which is in the child's mind. And how do you feel that, that seeing diverse representation, specifically within these kind of traditional folklore stories, uh, affects children and how they view themselves and, and their futures? Well. Lindsay, you're a mom, you know, you get it. If you can't see it, you can't be it, right? And kids need to know from a very early age that their existence and their experience is valid and that their stories deserve to be told and heard and they deserve to be in the story. So my book, The Real Santa, features a little boy who's based off of my own son and his journey to find out what the most elusive icon in history, perhaps, <laughs> actually looks like. And by centering a child, um, and giving them an opportunity to see someone on the search that looks like them. Incredible things can happen beyond childhood. And, and you've certainly written other books examining different aspects of being a black child, such as Bedtime Bonnet. What other books might you like to, to write to, to bring representation and diversity into focus? You know, I don't know. Being in an interracial household, my husband is Indian American, making sure that my children are comfortable and happy and complete in their black culture is very important to me. So my first children's book, uh, the Bedtime Bonnet, actually was based off of my daughter and my desire for her to be very happy and secure in her nighttime um, hair rituals, right? And this book is based off of my son. I wanted him to see a Santa Claus that looked like him. So who knows? My muses are my kids. Who knows what's next? What message do you want children to take away from your book, The Real Santa? I think the message is that it's so much fun to dream and believe and always believe, always believe in yourself and the magic of Christmas. And we see that little toy soldier over your shoulder as well. That representation matters in the holidays as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's the best. He's six feet tall. He's taller than my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy Red, we thank you so much for your time. Red's book, The Real Santa, is now available wherever books are sold. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.